Hi, I'm Heather. Welcome to my channel. Here we do crafts and DIYs, a lot of Dollar Tree crafts, and I do crafts from all different genres and lots of different styles. There's something here for everyone. So let's go into the first DIY. We're going to make a pillow out of these two Dollar Tree placemats. And if you can't find the poinsettia ones, they had some other that were really pretty tapestry and non-tapestry ones also. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with making four tassels. You're gonna need a piece of cardboard. This is about three or three and a half inches tall, and then maybe about four and a half or five inches wide. And you're just going to wrap around the yarn 50 times. And this is just yarn that I also got at Dollar Tree. And then after I get it wound, I'm going to cut it carefully along the bottom of one side. I'm gonna take out one piece and tie a knot halfway up. So right in the middle, tie a knot. Then I'm gonna cut another piece of yarn and I'm going to fold over and put it down about an inch not quite an inch, and tie it tight to make it into the tassel. And I'm going to knot that and then wrap around about three times just to give it a nice look. And I ended up making four of these. And I'm gonna give them all a haircut and they're ready for the corners. So these are the placemats. And you can't really tell on camera, but these tapestry placemats are absolutely gorgeous in person. And I'm not a big tapestry person, but these are just very vibrant and such rich coloring. So after I get them kind of sized up, I had to kind of stretch one out a little bit. Uh, they weren't exactly the right size, but they, they worked out. I'm going to put wrong sides together so the good sides will be out on the top and the bottom. I'm going to just stick these tassels in the corners with a little hot glue and I do end up just with a needle and thread stitching them on a little tighter when I get them done just because we have a dog and cats and I wanted to make sure they stayed on and kind of stayed in place. So I will be stitching them, but I am gluing them just to kind of keep them in place. And I was doing this at four o'clock in the morning, so I maybe wouldn't have even had to do that. <laughs> but. You know how it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the other placemat on top now. And the regular hot glue worked just fine. And as long as you put a nice continuous stream of glue, there shouldn't be any gaps or holes. So I'm just going in kind of about right under where the hem is that's on there. And that way it gives it a nice edge because the hem looks like you actually sewed them together. And then I'm gonna go down this other side, just make a continuous line of glue. Now, on either one end or the other, or if you wanna leave a small opening in the bottom, um, you'll need to so that we can get the fiber fill inside. So I went ahead on the bottom and just did part way in on each side. I actually went in a little bit too far and had to kinda of tear it open a little bit more. Now I'm using fiber fill to fill this. You can use 
parts of an old pillow if you've got one. Use the insides of that. If it's just going to be decorative, um, I've even seen people use wadded up plastic bags. It does make a crunchy noise, but um, if it's just going to be on display somewhere, that works. It's turning into be a very affordable pillow. I had two placements to buy, and then the yarn, I didn't hardly use any. Um, I got that at Dollar Tree as well. So for maybe $2.50, not quite, um, in supplies, plus the little fiber fill, I would say it's about a $3, $3.25 pillow, so not too bad. And it just looks very upscale, especially with the tassels added on. And if you find a different pattern you like, or you want to go neutrals, you can just do it however you want, whatever kind of placemats you can find. And here's what it looks like all finished. The second DIY for today is going to be cute little gnome peeking out of a denim jean pocket. So first you're gonna need a pair of old denim jeans that you can cut the back pocket off of. And you're gonna to wanna to cut both layers so that the pocket part stays intact. And you can stick your hand in there and there's a front and a back. Then, going to take one of these cute little Dollar Tree gnome picks and they're two to a package. They have the gray and white and they also had some with red on them. And I'm just going to break down the pick a little bit and let it go in about three, four inches down. You're going to want the head of the gnome to just be peeking out. And I just use some glue to hold it in place. Then I'm gonna embellish the pocket a little bit. And you can use whatever you've got for embellishments. I found this little sticker that says Seasoned Greetings. And then I've got three different snowflake I've pulled off of miscellaneous things. I've got one that's a thick paper. One's felt and one's made out of foam. <laughs> so it can just kinda be whatever you've got that looks right. I wanted to add a little something else red since the season's greetings was the only red thing. So I took some little red jewels to put in the center of each of the snowflakes. And this ended up being really affordable because I only spent 50 cents for the gnome since it's in a package or two. Like I said, the snowflakes were off of other things. The pocket was off of an old pair of jeans that were gonna get thrown away. And this ribbon I've had for ages. So yeah, very inexpensive little gnome. Probably about 75 cents or something in this craft. I did decide to put a little more support so when it's hanging, it doesn't flop forward so much. So I just took the other part of the pick and I put it so that it went down into the pocket and then straight up onto the back of the head of the gnome. And here is the cute little guy all done up. Our third DIY is going to be a cute little owl sign. We're gonna start with one of these shadow box picture frames from Dollar Tree. And I'm just taking out the backing and the glass. And gonna set that aside for now. 
I'm actually not even going to use it, so it'll be put away for something else. I'm going to take out the paper so I can use it as a template, and I'm just going to draw off the measurements on some scrapbook paper that's going to coordinate with my sign. So I'm just going to take my paper trimmer and get it cut down to the size that I need. And then I'm going to use just a regular glue stick, nothing special, and just give it a good coating of glue so that the paper sticks well to it. And just going to want to make sure most of the cardboard is covered. And then that little wooden piece that was inside, I'm still going to use. But first I decided I wanted to distress it around the edges a little bit. Now it's not real wood, it's just a wood paper over it, but it did work fine just to lightly sand. So I'm going to put the frame back together. And then that is what is going to be where our owl sits in that bottom right corner. So here I'm just trying to figure out where I want the wording to go. Here I'm just taking off the vinyl that doesn't need to be there. I'm gonna weed out the small pieces. And then you can always look up uh, different phrases to um, different Christmas songs and see how the word owl fits. There were a few different ones that I thought of when I was doing the Owl Be Home for Christmas. I just thought it seemed pretty cute. So I'm just putting on the transfer tape and peeling that off so I can transfer it onto the project. I'm kind of holding the owl on there to kind of see where it's gonna fit, where it'd be the best place to put it so it can be red. And I decided up kind of in the one corner so that there's room for the owl and there's also still room for me to put some florals in that upper left corner. So I'm getting that tape pulled off. Sometimes it wants to be a little stubborn. There was glitter on some of those little snowflakes on my paper and that was making it a little difficult. <laughs> so then I'm just gonna take some hot glue and glue the owl into place. I'm kind of wanting him sitting on that little ledge of the picture frame. And then I found some Dollar Tree florals that I thought would look good on this. These are actually a plastic, um, they're not even really remotely live looking, but they're, I thought the color worked well. Um, and then there also has the little red berries which match the red on the owl. So I'm just kind of putting this in place. So this entire project was made with Dollar Tree items except for the scrapbook paper and of course the vinyl transfer. But the owl, the frame, the florals, and the pine cones up in the corner were all from Dollar Tree. So here's how this cute little guy turned out. I think he'll be fun to have out. The grandkids will love it too. I want to thank everybody so much for watching. I appreciate all the kind comments you leave for me too. See y'all next time.